Welcome to our video exploring the fascinating possibility that the earth may be deeper and larger than we ever thought possible with uncharted territories and civilizations existing both inside and around it. Join us on a journey to uncover the secrets that lie beyond the poles and discover a whole new world hidden beneath the surface. We will explore compelling evidence that suggests the existence of vast underground caverns, mysterious tunnels, and hidden cities that have remained untouched for centuries. Get ready to challenge everything you thought you knew about our planet and embark on a journey to uncover the truth about the Earth's mysterious and unexplored regions. One of the most famous cases of someone claiming to have been taken to an underground facility is the case of Travis Walton. In 1975, Walton was working with a logging crew in the Apache Site Greaves National Forest in Arizona. When he was hit by a beam of light from a UFO, he claimed to have been taken aboard the UFO and then transported to an underground facility where he saw other human beings in suspended animation. David Clare's encounter with a Bigfoot in a cave system in the Sierra Nevada mountains suggests that Bigfoot may use underground cave networks to travel and hide from humans. Another person who claimed to have encountered subterranean beings is author and artist Richard Shaver. Shaver believed that an underground civilization, which he called the Darrow, was responsible for many of the world's ills, including wars and natural disasters. He claimed to have encountered the Darrow in his home and said that they were malevolent beings who were responsible for a number of unexplained phenomena. Percy Fawcett's encounter with the Chacos, a race of underground beings in the Amazon rainforest, is another intriguing tale of subterranean beings. Fawcett described them as pale, hunched creatures with large heads and glowing eyes who moved silently through the darkness. The hollow earth theory is a long-standing theory that suggests that the earth is not a solid sphere, but is instead hollow with openings at the poles. According to this theory, there is an inner world located inside the earth's crust, which may be home to a variety of life forms and civilizations. Agartha is a legendary city said to exist in the earth's core, inhabited by an advanced civilization of beings who possess knowledge and technology far beyond our own. Caves and underground networks like Mammoth Cave in Kentucky and the Paris Catacombs are other examples of vast underground systems that exist beneath the Earth's surface. Legends and myths from around the world, like the Greek myth of Hades and the Hindu tradition of the city of Patala, also speak of underground worlds and civilizations. The evidence suggests that there is a vast world beneath our feet that we have yet to fully explore. The possibility of cryptids and other supernatural beings existing in underground networks is a fascinating idea that cannot be easily dismissed. With further exploration and research, we may one day discover that there is much more to our planet than what we currently know. But let me go a bit further. Various creation stories from different cultures and civilizations suggest a common belief in the existence of a vast world that lies beneath the surface of the earth and deep in the ocean. In Greek mythology, Hades ruled the underworld, located beneath the surface of the earth and abducted Persephone. In Egyptian mythology, the god Osiris ruled over the underworld, which was believed to be a complex series of caverns and passages that extended deep beneath the earth. In Norse mythology, the god Odin descended into the underworld called Hell to gain knowledge after sacrificing himself by hanging from the world tree. In Hindu mythology, Ravana had a palace in the underground city of Lanka, and the Yellow Emperor descended into the underworld to learn the secrets of immortality. In Mesoamerican mythology, the Maya believed that their gods and ancestors resided in the underworld called Zubalba, and the hero twins had to descend into the underworld and defeat the lords of Sibal. In Inuit mythology, the world was created by the god Raven, who brought light to the world by stealing it from an old man who lived in a cave. Many Native American creation stories mention the interconnectedness of all living beings and the earth being a sacred living entity. The Sumerian creation story also mentions the goddess Tiamat, who is associated with the abyss or the depths of the sea. 
The Aztec creation story suggests a connection to the underground as the first humans were created in a sacred site in the city of Teotihuacan believed to be built over a network of underground caves and tunnels. All these beliefs and myths provide evidence that various cultures and civilizations believed in the existence of a vast world beneath our feet. But let's go even further. While there is no conclusive evidence to support the following claims made in these stories, they all share a common thread, the existence of a hidden world or civilization beneath the surface of the Earth. Admiral Richard E. Byrd's alleged discovery of a land beyond during Operation High Jump in Antarctica suggests the possibility of a lush, green land inhabited by technologically advanced and peaceful people. Similarly, Phil Schneider claimed to have worked on secret underground military bases that were connected by vast tunnels and even encountered gray aliens in one of them. Nicholas Rorick and Ferdinand Osendowski claimed to have visited Agartha, a hidden subterranean city inhabited by advanced beings with spiritual and technological knowledge. John Uri Lloyd's book, Edidorpa, recounts a man's journey into a vast network of underground tunnels and his discovery of an advanced civilization living beneath the surface of the earth. Finally, Willis George Emerson's book, The Smoky God, tells the story of Olaf Janssen, who claimed to have discovered a vast underground world at the North Pole inhabited by advanced beings who were over 12 feet tall. The accounts of explorers before the 1900s provide ample evidence that the world is bigger than we think, deeper than we think, and contains many unknown civilizations, creatures, and other mysterious things. For instance, during his Arctic expeditions, James Clark Ross encountered what he called ice volcanoes, which were mounds of ice that appeared to be erupting with steam and gas, even though they were located in areas where there was no volcanic activity. He also reported seeing strange lights in the sky, which some have speculated could have been something else entirely. Similarly, in 1845, John Franklin and his crew disappeared without a trace while searching for the Northwest Passage. And it wasn't until 2014 that the wreckage of one of Franklin's ships, the HMS Erebus, was discovered off the coast of King William Island in the Canadian Arctic. The discovery of the remarkably well-preserved ship shed new light on the fate of Franklin and his crew. Additionally, during his Antarctic expeditions, Ross encountered a number of large, mysterious rock formations in the Antarctic region, which he described as being fantastically shaped and totally unlike anything else in the world. These formations have been the subject of much speculation and debate, with some suggesting that they could be evidence of a lost civilization or ancient alien visitation. Furthermore, Lake Vostok, a subglacial lake located beneath the East Antarctic Ice Sheet, has also been the subject of much speculation since a team of Russian scientists claimed to have discovered a strange object in the lake while drilling for ice cores in 1996. Some conspiracy theorists believe that the object is evidence of extraterrestrial life, while others suggest that it may be a secret Nazi base or a crashed UFO. The Peary race map is another piece of evidence that suggests that the world is bigger than we think, as it shows the coast of Antarctica without ice, suggesting that the continent was once free of ice. Some researchers believe that the map is evidence of an ancient civilization that was able to map the entire world. Moreover, in 2019, a team of scientists from the University of Adelaide discovered a network of tunnels beneath the East Antarctic ice sheet which some conspiracy theorists believe may be evidence of secret underground bases or ancient civilizations. Finally, the accounts of explorers such as Pythias of Massalia, Marco Polo, Christopher Columbus, Sir Walter Raleigh, James Cook, and Alexander von Humboldt provide further evidence of the mysterious and unknown aspects of the world. Pythias claimed to have discovered a land called Thulo, which was described as a place where the sun never set during the summer months and never rose during the winter months. Marco Polo described fantastical stories of the existence of the kingdom of Prester John, a Christian king with immense wealth and power, and the island of Java Le Grand, a mythical island believed to be located in the Indian Ocean. 
Christopher Columbus wrote in his journals about seeing strange lights in the sky, encountering sea monsters and mermaids in the ocean, and Sir Walter Raleigh claimed to have encountered giant men with long hair, as well as a tribe of women warriors who fought with bows and arrows. James Cook encountered the island of Tahiti, which he described as a paradise on earth and the discovery of a previously unknown continent, which he named New Caledonia. Alexander von Humboldt wrote about encountering strange creatures such as giant anacondas and the man-eating tree, a mythical plant that was said to trap and devour human beings. I could go on and on, but the point is clear, I believe. As always, we go deeper into this subject as I must lay the groundwork for what is to come. Thank you for watching this video. While this theory may seem far-fetched, it is important to keep an open mind and continue exploring the mysteries of our world. Who knows what other discoveries await us? Don't forget to like and subscribe to stay updated on our future explorations and investigations. Thank you. You are only human for watching.